it's Megan Morrison back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys all my equipment that I use to make videos, post my Instagram content, make videos for Instagram. I keep it super simple. I am not high tech in any form or fashion. I keep it very simple because I have very limited time and I try to push out a lot of content while working behind the chair while educating and doing all the things. So I try to keep it super simple. So I guarantee you guys already have half this stuff and actually I don't really have a lot. It's like maybe three or four things that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, but let's get into it. And then I'm gonna take this camera off and actually show you guys what my ring light looks like. I think that's the only thing that I won't be able to show you guys pretty much. Um, but the one thing that I use to record the majority of my videos, like literally like 97% of my videos is my iPhone. Um, I have the iPhone 10s Max. Before that I was using the iPhone 7 Plus for a while. So all my YouTube videos that you see are recorded on my iPhone 10s Max now. And I record all my videos for Instagram, Facebook, and other platforms with my iPhone 10s Max as well. I think the camera quality is pretty decent, but it is super simple and easy for me to just upload my videos straight to the YouTube platform or straight to Instagram, all from my phone. So I just don't have a lot of time to have a camera and then upload it to my laptop, edit the video, and then push it out to the platform. So I keep it super simple. And then on my phone, I'm able to edit all my videos. I use an app called InShot to edit all my videos. I keep my editing super simple. I really don't do a ton, um, but I will be actually making a video to show you guys how I edit my videos using the app InShot. So I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step video so you guys can see how to edit your own videos. Um, okay, so moving on, I do have another camera that I like to use. So this little guy right here is called the DJI Osmo Pocket Camera. It's the tiniest, cutest little thing you've ever seen. Um, here's the box. Os the DJI Osmo Pocket Camera. So I will link that below. Um, I'll, give, I'll put my Amazon link below to um, take you to this in case you guys are interested. I think it's like... 300 something and then it comes with a bunch of different accessories too depending on where which one you get um, But the one I'm gonna link below is gonna it comes with like a couple different accessories. This thing is so cool. So this is the front of it and Then or well, that's the back I guess and then this is the front you can see the little screen right here and then it's got like an on button and then the other one is to record. And then this little thing actually plugs into your phone, which is really cool. So you can plug it into your phone and use it as well. You can use it by itself or you can plug it into your phone and then it displays the, the camera picture on your phone. So then it switches over from using the small screen to using your phone screen. Um, I've researched the camera quality on this. It's pretty, it's good camera quality, it's decent. Um, it's been compared to being very close to the iPhone XS Max camera quality, um, but this is a little bit better. Um, this also moves to follow, so if you wanna follow a subject or something, it'll automatically follow it. Um, there's just other features and cool things that this does. Also, what I like to use this for is if I go live on Instagram or live on Facebook or something, and I want to use my phone, but then maybe I want to save the video or have the video to upload to another platform such as YouTube or something else, then I can have it recording live on my phone, but then I'll set this beside it um, to so it's recording on this and my phone at the same time. So I also like to use it for that to catch, capture extra content for my other channels. There is like an accessory that you can get to actually put this on the ring light, which is where my phone is sitting right now. So you could set this beside it so you can have it sitting next to your iPhone while you're recording. Um, I also, for a time, was actually recording wedding videos 
with this and my iPhone and some of the accessories that come with DJI Osmo Pocket. So that was kind of like a side hustle I was doing for a while. I've had this camera for about a year. So I would say I was doing like the wedding videography for about, I don't know, six months. And I was just doing it on the weekends and charging like 500 bucks a day for to um, shoot. Well, it wasn't like a full day. It was like five, five-ish hours, five to six hours. And I was charging $500 and doing a little side hustle, just playing around because I, I love video. I love videography. I think it's a lot of fun. It's super interesting. Um, so anyways, check this out. It's really cool. I really like it because you can use it by yourself, by itself or with your iPhone. Um, so if you're a creative person and you love creating video, you might want to check this out. Okay. So let me show you the accessories. Ooh, I thought that was going to roll. <laughs> so this is one of the accessories that you can buy for it. And also you'll find this in the link below too. So I've linked everything in case you guys want to know. So the Osmo Pocket sits right in this little thing and then your iPhone can sit right here and then they connect together. So this is how I was mostly using it before, especially when I was doing wedding videography some. I would hook my phone up so I could see the picture on my phone and then I would carry this around and do my videography. This right here is another accessory that you can get with it. It's a light. Um, and I don't have batteries in it right now, but you basically just turn the thing on back here and it's a really bright LED light. So if you're shooting somewhere where it's like a darker area, um, maybe backstage at like a hair show where it's a little bit darker, you can turn this on and it brightens up the area. That way when you're shooting your video content, it makes it a little bit brighter. So this thing is super helpful. And then this like twist and then expands it actually expands a lot longer than this, um, but that way you can get up really high or like really long shots or just different things like that. So those are a couple accessories. Like I said, I pretty much use my iPhone for almost everything. And then the last thing that I use is a ring light. So at home, this is my at home office. I like to call it my office slash beauty room. So I just have one ring light here that I like to use. At the salon, we have two ring lights. So we have a white wall with two ring lights. And the reason we have two is because we feel like it gives better lighting because it encompasses the whole thing, like the whole entire area of where we're trying to take a picture. So it really brightens it up and with that, it kind of eliminates all the shadows. And the brand of ring light that I like to use that I have here and at the salon is called Neewer. It's N-E-E-W-E-E-W-E-R, Neewer. Um, I'll link it below too. But, and I think ours is like the 14 or 18 inch. I want to say I think it's 18 inch. It's pretty big. But anyways, I'm going to flip it around. I'll show it to you guys real quick. That way you can see exactly what it looks like. All right, here is my ring light. That was where I was just sitting over there, my little rig. I think this is the 18 inch. And then here's the front. And then of course it turns on right here. There's newer, that's how you spell it. And you can dim it or brighten it. And honestly, the majority of the time I'm using a ring light anytime, I am never using it on the highest lighting setting. It's just too bright most of the time and it blows your face or whatever you're taking a picture of. It just blows it up too much. All right. So the only other thing that I do do not have with me is my little tripod, which is at the salon right now. Um, but it's just a little mini tripod. You can set it on your salon station or a lot of times I'll set it on different things to capture a video somewhere. They're great for traveling, especially like if you're gonna be traveling, staying in a hotel, going to a hair show, wherever. Um, and mine has like these bendable legs. So if you're somewhere where it's not convenient to set on a little tripod, you can literally like wrap it around like a lamp pole, wrap it around like a staircase, um, you name it. I've wrapped it around like everything. So it's super awesome. And then I have another one that is a little bit more fancy 
and you can like extend it and that one is just more stationary it's not a bendable one so i have those two they're at the salon but those are super convenient those come in handy i use them all the time at home and in the salon um so i will link those also in case you guys are interested and that sums up all my tech equipment i mean it's pretty simple it's only like what one two three like five things that i use six um so i keep it super simple so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you comment below, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single week on lifestyle stuff, hair education, social media education, everything, lifestyle, travel. Um, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. My Instagram is Megan.Lorson. I would love to connect with you guys over there. And if you have any other video suggestions, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video.